Hello and welcome to this presentation on the A2P topic of lactic acid buffering system. My name is James, let's make a start straight away. And we're going to start from a very simple base point here, and that is that we already know that during exercise, if we perform either at any decent intensity or indeed at the start of exercise, we produce this byproduct of lactic acid. We already know it's a pro process of fermentation that happens in the presence of insufficient oxygen. Pyruvic acid is converted to lactic acid. Already we know that we can remove this stuff after exercise. So we've already studied how this is removed after exercise in that slow component of EPOC. But we also have a mechanism that helps to gradually remove lactic acid during exercise conditions and it's happening all the time. And this process is called the lactic acid buffering system. And I want to briefly explain that to you today. I've intimated at this first point on a number of occasions already. Lactic acid always breaks down to form two subproducts. The first is a structure called lactate, which we already know from having looked at the epoch, the slow component, is sort of a beneficial, energy-rich uh, product which we can reuse, we can store, and we can excrete. So that in itself poses no threat to our physiology. Whereas the other product of lactic acid is what we refer to, oh, well, not just what we refer to, what is a positively charged or a series of positively charged hydrogen ions. And it is this product which is fatiguing. It is this product which, once it's broken down from lactic acid, will denature enzymes and will prevent us from effectively and efficiently being able to resynthesize ATP. So the question is, how do we as a system, uh, how do we, as an athlete, how do we, as a biological organism, how do we get rid of this hydrogen ion? So let's make a start on that and let me...